guys, hi grade 12. So I decided to do a part two for rental income, which is a rental decrease by a percentage. So this is how you should work the transaction of rental income, which is going to come with a percentage decrease. Okay, let's start. Our trial balance is for the year end 28 February 2021, which means that we have to know that our financial year started last year in 2020 on March, on 1st of March. Okay, then the rental income amount that we are given is 120. Then additional information, they said the tenant paid the rent up to 30 March 2021. And note that the rent was decreased by 10% per annum with the effect on 30 May 2020. So, the premises was occupied since 2018. This, uh, this tenant was paying to this rent. Okay, now remember under income statement, they said we have to record only until 28 February. But in this case, they paid until March, which means that we have to subtract the amount of, of March. But remember, we can say 120 divided by 13 because there is a decrease of 10%. Now we have to calculate a percent, a, an amount of rent before decreasement of 10% so that we will be able to calculate what our rent for, for March. Okay, now let's check. What do we have to do? Number one, we have to count months before increment plus months after decreasement. Okay, before decreasement on 18 May 2020. We have to count from March 2020. Okay, we're gonna say March, April, and May, which means that we have three months before decrease. Then we have to add it together with months after decrease, which is June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, and March which is going to give us 10, it's 13 months in total. But please make sure that you split them according to how you count them. Okay, then you open a bracket and you say, remember guys, on the denominator is always 100. Numerator is always 100. It depends whether it's increase or decrease. In this case, because it's a decrease, you have to say 100 minus 10. But if it was increment, you were going to say plus 10. Simple. 100 minus 10 of decrement because it's go down, you have to say 90. Then you calculate. Under your calculator, you are going to say 3 plus 10. Then you say the multiply by 90 over 100. Okay, let me calculate. Okay, it's going to give me 90. Then we're gonna say 3 plus 10 multiplied by 90 over 100, which is going to give me. 12. Then which means that we are going to say 120,000 divided by 12, which is going to give me 10,000. So this is amount before a decrease. Remember they said from May it has decreased, which means that the ma amount of 18 March 2021 was affected by a decrease. Okay, now we can say on a final answer. 10,000, then we decrease it by 10%, which means that we're going to say 90 over 100. Or you say 10,000 multiplied by 10%, the amount that you get, you subtract it from 10,000, which is going to give you 9,000. So this is amount that you're going to record on your income statement, which means that you're going to say rent income. Then you see it 120 minus 9,000, which is going to give you 
101,000. This is what you are going to do under income statement. This one, it has almost four marks. Four marks, guys. Please make sure that you get it. It's very simple, straightforward. Thank you for watching, guys. Please make sure before you leave this video, make sure that you subscribe so that you get more and more videos that is going to assist you. Please also share with your friend. We are going to have more life that we are going to do every Friday to prepare you guys to write your examination. Please make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. So whenever that I upload the video, you're going to get the update. Thank you so much guys. Have a good day.